During the events of Multiversity, Grant Morrison gave us the map of the multiverse, which contrary to popular belief is far beyond just multiversal in scale. This map of the multiverse allowed us to understand the many realms in DC and how they were organized. Creating a map of creation was a feat that occurred over a decade ago, but is still something that Marvel hasn't even duplicated. But as with all things, time and new writers managed to expand the multiverse beyond what it was, beyond anything that we've seen here on this map, which essentially leads us to our question. What all is missing on the map of the multiverse? Grant Morrison, the person who wrote the map and is a notorious DC writer, was honestly pretty thorough whenever it came to his research, so there can't be too much missing from the map of the multiverse in the modern day, right? What's up guys, it's me Lumos Theramax, and today we are here discussing what all is missing from the map of the multiverse. So become a member, consider liking and subscribing, all that fun jazz. Of course this video, just like all the others, was sponsored by the Theramax core members, because those guys are pretty much the guys who help me make any of the content that I do. So appreciate those homies, and I hope you guys are ready to get down to the bottom of exactly what's missing in uh, this specific video from the map of the multiverse. So back to it, the map of the multiverse. The map of the multiverse is pretty darn big, contains a ton of information. And I have entire streams and entire videos breaking down all sorts of things on here. So if you wanna check out like what exactly is already on the map, I've got other content for that. Hopefully it'll appear in the top right corner whenever it comes to all that action. But to give you guys a brief rundown, it basically has a variety of uh, these realms um, starting all the way down in the physical matter of existence um, uh, with the separate worlds that exist in the Ori of Worlds. Then it goes to the Bleed. Then you have the Speed Force Wall. Then you have the God Sphere. Then you have each individual realm in the God Sphere. Then you hit Limbo. Then you hit the Monitor Sphere with Nil. And then you hit the Source Wall. And of course, the Overvoid being Beyond, all of which is contained inside Destiny's book. Um, you could see him up chilling at the top. And the only thing stated outside of uh, the multiverse, effectively, here are essentially the monitor mind, the source, and the unknowable. So that's like a pretty solid quick rundown on what's going on here. But I mean, obviously, there's like so much going on. Let's talk about the things that are not included on this that were either added later on or. We just honestly forgot to add and retroactively have some kind of cool explanations as to why. So starting off our list here, you can't help but notice at this point in time that there are only 52 worlds inside the Ori of Worlds. Um, this is like a massive misconception for a lot of different people that there is only 52 worlds inside their multiverse. The bleed itself contains an infinite amount of worlds, um, but it's just due to this specific era and time where the monitors had limited uh, pretty much everything in the Ori down to the localized 52 worlds. And we've seen a variety of times people go past that. We've got a guidebook statement that just says there's entire multiverses, like uh, other Ori sets, like uh, we have in our multiverse that exist out there as well. Um, yeah, the bleed has got a way more than just 52 worlds on it. Um, and in Barry Allen's new catalog of the multiverse, it's definitely infinite and we've got numbers up into the thousands and stuff so like obviously that gets really crazy as time goes on as well so um, one of the big things obviously to point out here is there's way more worlds we just can't put infinite worlds on a 2d surface and make it a legible surface in any meaningful capacity so along with those individual worlds something else that is also missing from the map in, unto itself is higher spatial dimensions Keep in mind, higher spatial dimensions are something that we have statements for having an infinite amount of. Once again, this is another one of those things where trying to visualize a, a 2D map and trying to put an infinite amount of things is obviously impossible. So uh, we don't really demonstrate them here um, in any significant capacity. What we do know is we have things from like the Wildstorm universe and even uh, modern things referencing the fact that we have a ton of spatial dimensions, even author statements say up to an infinite amount, um, and there's just no real way to kind of identify that on here. Each one of these Earths should have their own individual higher spatial dimensions, so that's something uh, important to consider. We just don't have those on the map anywhere. Super unfortunate. But something interesting 
to note here is that once you hit the speed force wall, which is past the bleed, um, your end, you're basically hitting where the end of matter it can go, like where the speed of light inside DC occurs, and so clearly all spatial matter, which would be any spatial dimension, um, would exist below this point in time. Now time, there's also something else we got to talk about because time realms in general or the time stream just do not exist on this map, which is strange because the time stream or an even individual timelines are something that are pretty important to DC in, as, a, as a whole, let alone like just Earth Zero or anything along those lines. One could argue each individual timeline is represented by each individual Earth, and hey, I guess that's a pretty fair argument, but the time stream, which is like an outerversal realm governing over all of time, uh, just does not exist on this map anywhere. In fact, they don't even reference time realms pretty much at all. Um, throughout this entire thing, which is super, super annoying because time is a very important structure in DC, arguably the most important structure, but for some reason it's not on the most important map of the cosmology that we have. Feels a little bit unfortunate, and associated with kind of like the time stream in general, I'm gonna just throw in the vanishing point. Um, the Vanishing Point is this uh, notable uh, place and dimension from beyond space and time. Now, one could argue it's the question mark on the opposite side of Wonderworld, at the south side of uh, the bleed on the Speed Force wall, because it is technically just a question mark. Um, it could be plausible that that is it. That would be my theory whenever it comes to that action. So, time stream and time realms seem to just be absent, to say the least. Now, something else also uh, that is somewhat associated with time and time travel and, and things along those lines is the fact that the speed force is just not present on this map, which feels a little bit strange. Until you consider the fact that the speed force is like this omnipresent energy that just exists across everything. It's the very thing that like governs movement. So it would actually make sense that everything everywhere needs some form of conceptual movement and as a result that like uh, the speed force should just be everywhere as a concept kind of like kinetic energy across like a much larger structure than the size of just our universe um we do have the speed force wall but keep in mind the speed force wall is simply uh speed of light inside dc which allows you access to like higher realms you're finally moving past what matter can logically do in any like any normal capacity and so the speed force doesn't technically have a play song here we just know that it's it's everywhere within the bleed because it exists throughout all of time um and speedsters can access it through the bleed and uh it's also in the higher realms as well so basically it's just going to be everywhere on the map and my personal theory, which uh, I give big shout outs to uh, Wally West.exe, is probably it's the lightning that exists in between each major sphere and the sphere of gods coming down from the source wall. That would probably be my theory for like the speed force. Um, so it might be on here, but not 100% confirmed on the side or anything along those lines. Now, this one is also going to be a little bit weird, a little bit tricky, okay? Because there is this place called the Emerald Space which is not stated anywhere on here. The Emerald Space is this really odd place where all of the Green Lanterns go whenever they die. And so it may just be a place that's unstated that exists somewhere in an afterlife realm, like in the God Sphere. The reason why I bring this up is traditionally realms like this, like the Speed Force, deaths for people in the Speed Force, they just go inside the Speed Force. Well, that begs the question, if you die and you're incredibly attached to the emotional spectrum, where you go is obviously the emerald space, right? So shouldn't the emerald space be inside the emotional spectrum? But where's the emotional spectrum at? Well, according to the New 52, the emotional spectrum itself has a reservoir beyond the source wall somewhere. So the emotional spectrum is obviously all life that exists. So conceptually it exists anywhere inside at least the bleed, but even gods and stuff like that feel the emotional spectrum. So I'm pretty inclined to believe that the emotional spectrum itself is just everywhere and there happens to be reservoirs out past the source wall. But none of this is also indicated um, on this map, even though it was in this time frame that those concepts were coming out. So don't really have an answer for you whenever it comes to the emotional spectrum 
uh, 100% on the map. It might be. I mean, there's a lot of energies and stuff just flowing around uh, the entire map, but it's not something that's even stated, even though it's got pretty solid cosmological uh, placements, at least source walled in, in scope and tier, so Loki a little bit wild there. But missing the emotional spectrum almost entirely, along with the emerald space, which should logically be inside it, or any of the other spaces that exist inside the emotional spectrum, because you obviously have one for willpower, fear, greed, etc, etc, etc. Here's one that does not get talked about a lot, but I actually think is really, really, really important. So back in the day, a major figure for not only DC in general, but whenever it comes to discovering the cosmology and tampering with the cosmology of things, Captain Adam was like a go-to guy. In fact, he did quite a bit. The man traversed through Necron's realm, even beat up Necron at one point in time, and the quantum realm, or the quantum field, is essentially where he gained all of his powers. And this realm is crazy powerful. It allows you access to all sorts of places inside DC cosmology, including the time stream. And people wielding quantum powers such as Dr. Manhattan have always been incredibly powerful whenever uh, they're kind of brought to the table. But it's not even mentioned on the map, which is strange. So we're just entirely missing that. Now, if I'm going to hit you with a classic Lumos Theromax theory, which I do a lot of this in the in the discords, one of the big theory, one of the big things I do on there is throw a lot of theories out there. And although it's not stated, I would argue, okay, this is going to be one of those put your hands up and hear me out kind of memes, okay. If you look across the map of the multiverse, low key, you can actually see the symbol of an atom across everything. And the God Sphere realms themselves are the electrons like running across it. One of the things with like the quantum realm is that it's essentially this realm that underpins pretty much everything. It even ties into like uh, like the microverse and stuff along those lines. So this could be one of those things where the quantum field isn't necessarily stated because it's a field that much like the emotional spectrum and the speed force just tie into everything whenever it comes into like the multiverse. If I had to guess for uh, for the quantum realm specifically, I probably would guess that it has some sort of tie to the dimensional superstructure of creation, um, which is how you could get away with showing or demonstrating that uh, that atom underneath like absolutely everything on the map. Definitely a busted realm. The quantum field or like the quantum realm definitely needs to be discussed and looked at some more. Might be uh, some concepts for a video down the way. So we've kind of moved past a lot of the uh, small stuff and even some of the time stuff, but we're still talking about hypertime nonetheless. Hypertime is an incredibly important structure that even Morrison himself with is toyed with a few times, and it's just not seen on uh, this map whatsoever. Um, like I said earlier, any form of time realm is just gone, and all hypertime is is essentially this pan-dimensional story box that exists that houses every story that ever existed, regardless of whether it's been destroyed, recreated, deleted, whatever the case may be. And yeah, it's just something we don't see on here. And a variety of times it's been stated outside of the multiverse or even omniverse, and obviously in that context that would just be everything on the map itself. So it may be something that is just beyond anything that we see on here. It may also be a structure inside the sixth dimension. Uh, it could be a variety of things going on here, but it's just not located on the map. Super unfortunate, but it is what it is. And one of the final realms that we have underneath the source wall, we actually have the fifth dimension. And exactly where the fifth dimension lies is kind of up in the air, but it's pretty much everything underneath the source wall because makes you could only uh, throw, uh, create a portal to the sixth dimension as a result of a hole inside the source wall. So clearly, clearly the uh, sixth dimension is something beyond, and the fifth dimension is just not even notated on the map anywhere. Um, there's a lot of misconceptions that the bleed is the fifth dimension, but do not take that literally. Uh, they're just lifebloods of the multiverse. Just because they both are referenced as lifeblood doesn't necessarily mean that they're the exact same thing. But yeah, everybody wants to know where the classic fifth dimensional imps uh, dimension is. And unfortunately, it's just the realm in between everything on here. So kind of like the speed force or kind of like the emotional spectrum. It's just a realm that's everywhere. That, that'd be like the best way to kind of describe it. One of those realms you couldn't just fit on this map because it effectively would just be everything on the map underneath the source wall. Higher dimensions are incredibly hard to put on maps, especially realms of like pure imagination. So 
it's it's just one of those things where there was there was no way we were actually putting it on here big rip now this last one might also be another one of those that's already on here it's just not mentioned whatsoever so one of the very unique things that i think is missing from the map the multiverse is actually the hero verse or like the h style with this map here you can kind of see where it's located and it's kind of interesting because it's just towards the center of the map so the h dial or the hero verse is it's like this super dimension that contains all powers of every single character that's ever existed and people use these phones to essentially dial in to that concept in order to gain access to those phones and they're these old rotary phones called uh, h dials right because you literally dial in like the power that you're after now uh, something super interesting to consider is although we don't see them on the map, technically the entire map itself is like a rotary dial. And so uh, this really powerful dude one time used the entire multiverse as an H dial. So you might be able to say the entire map is an H dial just in general because um, they're just story generators and power generators essentially. So you got that going for you if you want to consider that specifically. However, Everything that you see here discussed on this map, everything here is just the positive matter multiverse. Everything that exists on the positive side of things. It is important to know, as I said before, that beyond lies only the monitor mind, the source and unknowable. That's all outdated information, but we're going to come back to that down the way. So if everything we're looking at here is the positive matter existence, well then, what other existences are there within our creation? Well, I'm glad you asked, random guy. Let's talk about those, because they're entirely missing from this map, too. So, to start off with my personal favorite, the Antimatter Universe. The Antimatter Universe is comparable to the entire Positive Matter Universe, and origi its original purpose was to create um, a final layer to existence where nothing could escape, and delete anything that tried to leave into the Overvoid, according to, you know, the guy who governs over the entire thing, the Anti-Monitor. So this place isn't just as large as everything we visited combined so far, um, and we just don't see it on the map. Um, as its name implies, it's the anti-version, so its nature entirely is just corrupt and evil, um, made entirely out of antimatter that negs your mom, negs magic, negs your powers, man, it negs everyone, bro. The antimatter universe is like low-key kind of crazy. but. It's definitely a wild place, and it's a shame it's not even mentioned on the multiverse map, especially with its prominent history and major crisis events, and honestly just dealing with the anti-monitor in general. The original Crisis on Infinite Earths event is a prime example of just how crazy this specific realm can get. The brother realm to the anti-matter universe and the positive matter multiverse is the dark multiverse. Now, the Dark Multiverse is incredibly wild. It contains a variety of creations that all simultaneously exist down in the Dark Matter Multiverse that exists and sits below the classic tripartite structure that makes up our entire multiverse. Because the Dark Matter Multiverse, the Antimatter Universe, and the Positive Matter Universe, as I said, are all one structure. It's all technically one multiverse, all glommed together. And in the Dark Multiverse, the thing that makes it special, it represents the Dark Matter that, like, in the real world exists in between everything. And so inside the comics, it represents basically an infinite amount of creations that exist out there. And even Scott Snyder basically says, yo, the dark matter multiverse is effectively like an ocean if the entire positive matter multiverse was a drop. If I had to draw it more as a kind of like how, how much they occupy, like how much space they occupy, I feel like it would be more like, you know, like it's almost like if that dot is the the dot is the multiverse, and then the dark multiverse like stands out in all directions from you know from that on all sides, all, all around, all the time. You know, it, it's it's crazy to think about, but mathematically, it's actually really interesting. A, a lot of people think the multiverse is just these fifty-two orbs floating in the bleed, but Grant Morrison's explained in the past how it's sort of that's just sort of one pocket, and there are actually infinite collections of universes floating out there, each of whom has various varia uh, infinite variations in the timeline that multiply infinitely themselves with every passing action. Once you right. realize, what was that? Sorry. Yes, I agree. Uh, yes. Yeah. Once you realize that even that is so infinitesimally small compared to the dark multiverse. It's really hard to describe, like, words don't really do it justice. That should give you an idea of how large the Dark Matter multiverse is below creation. And this realm, as I said, is the third the third uh, in the classic tripartite structure that is our entire structure. However, all three of those parts are superseded by one final layer to existence. 
well, what could be the final layer in existence? So much like the fifth dimension I mentioned before, higher dimensions, those governing everything below them, just don't exist on the map whatsoever. And the sixth dimension is the celestial penthouse of Perpetua and her children, the Brothers Three. Only the strongest beings in creation can not only maneuver themselves here, but have been capable of even understanding this realm, let alone making it here. The sixth dimension is the final layer of our multiverse before you enter the great void beyond. And this structure is essentially where, what hands create to govern over the entire multiverse maps, regardless of whether they're classic pri uh, tripartite structures or not. The sixth dimension is the fi final layer of everything that does exist. And the final thing on our list that is not directly within the map of the multiverse, as stated. Honestly, there's a lot of things that could go on this map. What was something that I didn't say and that's not mentioned on the map that you wanted to hear me talk about? Because I might make a part two uh, whenever it comes to this, with just all the other things that also didn't exist because I didn't even discuss the green or anything along those lines. I mean, there's all sorts of stuff that I could bring up and discuss whenever it comes to this map that I didn't hear. I just tried to stick to the more relevant realms and power sets that I thought weren't directly mentioned. But what's something that you think uh, I should discuss on the map that's missing? Leave a comment down below and let me know. Be sure to like and subscribe or even consider becoming a Theramax Core member because these are the guys who do the most uh, the most support to me and that's something that I can't help but create uh, I can't help but uh, shout out to because it helps me so much guys whenever I record this action. Um, I also have a video if you're interested in things beyond the map that should be coming out soon. I'm actually working with channel homie Christian Kember on it. So if you want the follow up to this one on what exists beyond the map, I think that would be a really fun, a really interesting thing to do. So like and subscribe for more content like this, and we'll see you down the way, homies. Later, Lanterns. You'll join my list of dead after I tear you in half And I laughed at the thought of them controlling me I'm the ultimate dragon that spawned everything I resist in the...